one last conformational analysis example. It's a tri-substituted cyclohexane with three different groups present. You're going to use the same exact process. Number your ring. You can start anywhere. I'm going to start here as number one. That's our reference point. Now draw both chair conformations. And then let's set our reference point and number them. Here's carbon one. Here's carbon one in the other chair. And start at one and number clockwise. If you switch from clockwise to counterclockwise in one problem, you're going to get the wrong answer. Likewise, if you number one chair clockwise, one chair counterclockwise, you're going to get the wrong answer. So now let's put our groups in. In carbon one, we have an ethyl group that is out. So in carbon one, that ethyl group should become an up group. And the up here is the axial. On carbon three, we have a methyl group that is back. We'll just label this as up. The back group on carbon three should be the down group on the chair. The axial is up, the equatorial is down. You can write the CH3 in or just leave it as the bond terminus, which is what I'll do here. Then on carbon five, we have let me write that as down. Carbon 5, we have the isopropyl, which is back. So that should be the down group on carbon 5. The axial's up. The equatorial is down. So let's draw our isopropyl in, down. Now we do the ring flip on carbon 1. This ethyl goes from axial to equatorial. And it's still up. On carbon 3, the methyl goes from equatorial to axial. And then on carbon 5, the isopropyl goes from equatorial to axial. Like that. Check, make sure it's still up, the methyl is still down, the isopropyl is still down. Then let's just look at the orientations, axials and equatorials. We have an axial, equatorial, equatorial. In the other chair, we have an equatorial an axial, and an axial. So if we compare these, the first chair has two groups equatorial. Also, your largest group, the isopropyl, is equatorial. So that makes this the most stable chair form. For this particular molecule, it's not possible to ever get all three substituents equatorial.